I was delighted to be asked to take part in the Poetry as Commemoration project. And the poem I've written here has to do with um, a really sad episode in the history of Northern Ireland when uh, shipyard workers, Catholic shipyard workers, were attacked and driven from the shipyards by their Protestant uh, co-workers that set off uh, the Belfast pogrom, a, a, a series of um, attacks uh, on, on Catholics in Belfast in 1922. Um, there's something obsessive about the um, style of this poem as I think befits its subject matter and perhaps its form, which is a villanelle where two lines recur right the way through the poem um, and bring us back, uh, always with a slightly different meaning to the, the business at hand. So the Belfast pogrom, some observations. The shipyard workers are no lighter on their feet than the linen workers who flock to Ross's mill on Odessa Street to wrangle a bed sheet out of sullen flax. The shipyard workers are no lighter on their feet than this newly launched ship of the fleet laying about it with its fluke. The linen workers on Odessa Street look to its nose bag for the mummy wheat that may raise a horse king from his cart catafalque. The shipyard workers are no lighter on their feet than when they greet the Catholics among them with a wrist flick of nuts and bolts. In Ross's mill on Odessa Street, the tradition of drinking whiskey neat extends to the recent influx of shipyard workers, never lighter on their feet than when they're driven back by the heat from a house they've torched. The black snowflakes that settle on the linen workers of Odessa Street summon quite bittersweet memories of a Catholic boy recently flogged by the shipyard workers, no lighter on their feet than the parakeet on his shoulder. The boy's back striped like the flag flying over Ross's mill on Odessa Street. When it comes to beating a retreat through a mass of blood and brain flecks, the shipyard workers are no lighter on their feet than the linen workers of Odessa Street.